Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Let's drink some beer, shall we? Let's try this. This is a dark fruit porter by uh, Bakemans. 4.5% um, ABV. Um, and a few people have bought this from Chuggy e. Cheese in um, the French Gate Centre in Doncaster and I paid £2.75 for it. Which I think is cracking value for a Bakesman bid. Because they are a good, they are a good brewer. I uh, discovered them um, last year when I, I started on this journey, um, probably the middle of last year, um, and found them pretty fairly quickly. And I actually forgot how much I liked them. I used to drink a lot of them, but well, Lincolnshire based. And yeah, really, really nice brewer. So a couple of a couple of these. This one, I think I've got a mock one up there. Uh, was there another one? Just those, I think it was just those two. Oh no, there was another one, wasn't there? What was there another one? Oh, the Triple XP, which is over my shoulder somewhere. Triple XP as well. Um, yeah, uh, got a few. Want to try them? Um, never tried any of these before. Really looking forward to it. And a few people have mentioned in comments that the, the uh, don't want to know what this one tastes like. So for everybody out there that wants to know what this tastes like, we're going to review it and see what it's like now. I'm just expecting it to have that porter base and just lots of fruity, sweet fruity flavours. That's all I'm expecting from it. Tells you on the front, uh, creamy and fruity with a nutty spiced finish. So things I should be getting from it. Did I say, I think I said 4.5, it's 4.6% ABV. Down a little bit, sorry, 4.6% ABV. Do apologise. Right, um, but for, yeah, so that has poured fairly dark, it's not black, there's a good red hue coming through there, and it's got a small, what probably was when I poured it, a tan head. Yeah, I was just thinking 4.6% for a Porter is a little bit on the dull side of porter for my liking, if I'm being brutally honest. But hey ho, I'm not a brewer, not a proper brewer anyway. Do a bit of own brewing, that's about it. Right, aromas. Those dark fruits are coming through. I'm getting predominantly blackberries and a little bit of chocolate. And it smells sweet. It's, um, I have to say, for a 4.6% porter, it's actually quite aromatic. For something this low for porter, I wouldn't normally expect to get that much aroma for it, but it's, it's quite nice and. Uh, a nice full aroma, quite like that. Taste test. Cheers, everybody. It's in there. Plenty of dark fruits going on in there. Plenty of dark fruits in there. Just trying to find that little bit of um, porter flavour. There is a little bit in there. It is a little bit like, like a blackcurrant cordial. It's almost got that sort of. It's like a weak version of it. But it's almost got that flavour in there. So it's like a cordial with a little bit of a kick to it. Little bit of coffee trying to come through from the porter side. Well, that's pleasant. Do you know what? That is that is pleasant enough. I have to say, 
they've pushed the dark fruit side of it and the dark fruit side of it comes through really really well um, that porter side of it is really very very quiet which I think is a bit of a shame I'd like to see a little bit more of that coming through the coffee's trying to come through there's a coffee hit which is trying to come through and it's just that fruit is just trying it's just keeping the lid on it a little bit but it has got an excellent mouthfeel it is really nice um it's smooth it's soft, it's silky. On the front it says nutty. It is creamy, that's a soft, that's a smooth bit. Nutty spice. I am getting a little bit of spice. A little bit of pepperiness from it. I'm not getting much in the way of a nuttiness, if I'm being brutally honest. Uh, so dark fruits, porter, deliciously moorish dark beer. Our story is one of enterprise and innovation, always looking forward, always remain true to our family roots after four generations. Hang on, whoa. Uh, black in colour and creamy mouthfeel, dark fruits is a delicious porter with a backbone of crystal chocolate and roasted malts. So the roasted malts are coming through and that's that bit of coffee that I'm getting through that he's trying to keep the lid on. It's packed full of delectable dark fruits for a slightly sweeter finish, this rich, nutty, spiced beer. All in all, it's the most Moorish of dark beers, and it is vegan friendly, the 500ml bottle. Not getting nuttiness, that would have been nice, a bit of nuttiness to go with that, that would have been, that would have been quite nice. But it's quite easy drinking. It is lovely. Um, Bateman's. Um, I think I like the ethos of a brewery like that. And there's lots of them out there. It's not just these guys. Um, but you know, sometimes breweries get a little bit too big, and it's the accountants then seem to take over. It's how can we brew that? Can we brew that in the same way? Can we reduce the ingredients a little bit yeah it alters it, it alters the flavor it alters the abv yeah but just look how much money we'd save on it that's when you know the accountants are taking over that's what happens if you look at brewdog for example they'll come they'll come up with a really good range to be fair most most big brewers will do the same Let's look at what marsons have done over the years they've taken breweries over and gone to the loved beers that we all like to drink and they have changed ingredients and brought the abv down a little bit and it's not fair on us, the public. Well, the view I always get from some of, someone like Bateman's is they're not interested in that. Of course, they want to make money. Um, they're in the business to make money, of course they are. But they brew what they like. Uh, if they have to spend a little bit more, like in this, I'm sure that's got. Um, you know, it's, it's got dark fruits in there. You know, they could have produced a porter and that was it. But they've gone to the uh, the next level and they will have got some dark fruits from somewhere. They've pushed it in, um, probably the conditioning stage around the fermentation stage. Might put it in the fermentation stage, I don't know. Um, and they've created a dark fruits porter. Didn't have to do that. But it's something they wanted to explore and try. Uh, and if the accountants were being involved, they were, how much? How much you spend on this fresh fruit? No chance. No chance. We're not happy as accountants. We're not happy with that, and we probably never would have had it with some brewers. That's nice though. I like a port. I good do like a good porter and stout. And the base for this one tastes really nice. It's just for me, 4.6% for a porter is just a little bit dull. That's the bit. But the fruit flavour, executed to perfection, really nice. I do like it a lot. 
and I like that a lot to score that uh, eight and a half out of ten. That's an eight and a half out of ten from Andy's Bay Reviews. Until next review, cheers everybody.